Hey Scorpio, welcome to your WLC, Weekly Love Connections Read. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Information about my personal readings, the tarot decks that I'm using, as well as links to all my extended reads are in the description box below. Also, guys, um, my way of saying thank you for um, bringing this channel up to um, 30k over subscribers just for a couple of months that I'm here. Um, I'm giving away some tarot decks and oracle decks, a couple of these um, down below. If you're interested to participate, I have um, a video link below as guidance on how to participate. So if you're keen, go ahead and check them out, okay? It's all in the description box. All right. Um, Scorpio, let's go ahead and do your reading. What do we have for you in love? What do we have for Scorpio in love for this week? As we start 2020, what do we have for Scorpio? Tell us what do we have for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter, and North Node as well, in love. High Priestess, Death, there you are. Ten of Coins, Judgment, Nine of Cups. It's a very quiet connection you have, Scorpio. <laughs> it's quiet, but I feel that um, you both know where you stand right now. You're pretty clear with what you have, what you want, or what you even have in this connection right now. Whether you still have the connection or not, you know that. Yeah. And you are in the phase of kind of accepting some sort of ending right here. Things have ended with this person that you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. It feels for you, at some point, there was um, this was a connection that you feel like it belongs to you. This is the connection that you want to nurture, that you even felt stable at some point. It's the end-all, be-all kind of connection. You wanted to build, you wanted to have long-term stability with this person, but apparently things have ended, and um, now there isn't any form of stability, not possibly for some of you, you're not even communicating. Mm -hmm. And your person is not happy about it. Yeah. Not happy at all. They did not get their wish. They felt frustrated, disappointed. They have Four of Wands, Ace of Wands, Page of Swords, and um, Three of Swords. But this is, I feel, this is the Phoenix rising up from the ashes. This is exactly where you are at right now. You are blooming, you are um, starting of the year, I feel you are kicking ass here. You're doing well in your job, in your in, in your community, in whatever engagements you're in. You're you're getting um, awards or attention from um, from the people that um, that are around you. They value you. People see your value. That's what I see. And you're pretty much just starting something off. Start, starting doing, uh, going for your passion starting new business perhaps um, for some of you you could even be you know meeting other people dating around having good sex perhaps mm -hmm. <laughs> and your person can see that that you're doing well you're not you, you don't seem to be affected by the fact that things have ended between the two of you but this person is still attracted to you and the more you don't talk to them the more they are wanting you to have this new beginning because at some point I feel that this person has been awakened to the fact that this is the connection in fact is something that they want at some point okay yeah definitely you have the lovers and the star 
at the bottom of the deck we have the Queen of Swords. So everything is pretty clear right now, at least for your side. You know that um, whatever you need to know about this connection, you already know. If you have stopped investing or putting in your effort, your time, money, and um, resources into this connection, primarily because you think that's the end of it. Mm -hmm. Your person, though, felt like you have gone ice cold towards them. And they're not happy. They're frustrated. They did not really attain what they want out of this connection. And um, they have some reckoning here. They have been awakened to the fact that, you know, um, they could have done better. They could have done better in dealing with you, in nurturing this connection. And now they know that they could have done better. Yeah? I feel that this person is not communicating with you and um, they're checking you out through friends, through your social um, accounts or, you know, social media. Mm -hmm. And that um, at some point they also would, I'm getting here that this person is also kind of hoping that they could see you are affected by this breakup. At some point they want to see that you're also sad, but no, Scorpio isn't. <laughs> you're kicking ass. Yes, even after the ending. <laughs> at least that's how they see you, huh? <laughs> But this person is, is very tied to you. Even at that soul level, they are... This person is in love with you, Scorpio. And that could even be the reckoning that they have. Now they know. It takes a while for this person probably to really fall in love with you, but they do now. They do know now that they love you. Mm -hmm. And that um, I do see that there's going to be healing here. There's going to be that um, sense of renewal. So if this person comes back, if this person reaches out to you, um, I do feel that you would be open to discussions and then you will take it from there and how, how things would go, how this person would perform in getting you back. That's um, contingent to the fact that they also need to put the effort. They also need to make amends, yeah? But this person knows now that it's you that they want. It's you that they love after an ending okay if not that i do see that there's going to be healing of wounds past wounds and um perhaps for you you could also be healing and moving on to new ventures to new endeavors yeah or even to new connections something um, a connection that could give you stability that you want yeah i'm also seeing that um there's going to be somebody here who's going to be um, well-known, some sort of that celebrity status. It could be in YouTube, it could be in Hollywood, or wherever you want to shine. I do see that. I feel this is you. This is you. Because now you are on the road to success, and I'm seeing that um, you will get your wish here. Whatever you are trying to achieve, you will get that. While your person... They are just realizing what they have lost and that um, they want it back. And they want you back. Okay? All right. Let's see. What else do we need to know about this connection? Tell us more. Love is the reason. <laughs> That's the reason why this person is not happy right now. That this person wants at least a view of you of um, feeling sad for not having them. Because now they are realizing the fact, you know. It takes a breakup for this person to realize how much they love you. Well, in some cases that works. But it's up to you, Scorpio. I think on your side everything is ended and then you're pretty much in a good state right now. You're pretty clear, and I don't think you would want to go back into that old cycle. If anything, I, I think you would open up to healing this old cycle and um, starting a new beginning from scratch. You want this person to prove their way back to you. Good 
because you're doing great. So keep it up. Let this person find their way back to you because they will. I just I just got caught up in the moment. <laughs> caught up thinking about what? <laughs> Yeah, so this person was was, was um, pretty much, I think, before the um, judgment time, before they heard the trumpet. It's it's basically them. Um, possibly, you know, uh, not thinking quite well enough in investing into this. But when you pulled away, or this could very well be somebody who is also, who who has some entanglements somewhere else, it could be other responsibilities. It could be even third party, I feel. And, um, yeah. But from where you're standing at right now, stay there. You look great. Okay? I'm going to be extending this reading, and I'll pull more cards to give us more insights. If you want to follow me in the extended, the link will be in the description box below. Otherwise, leave me comments and let me know how this resonates with you. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell. If you want to join the triple three um, giveaways of the uh, tarot decks and um, the oracle decks, the link on how to participate is also in the description box. If this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.